Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Suri Kisimov and welcome to my channel. This is the Geek Tech Show. Over here I teach you a lot of different things here, including how to make money online and the best about this, we are doing video reviews, tech reviews and so on. Well, in this video, we are going to be, before we get started, well, got to put my sponsor's hat on, which is the North hat. Actually, it's not sponsored by anything, I sponsor my own stuff. And there's going to be a link right down below to this cool hat I bought on Amazon. Nav hat. Love it. Looks great and feels good. I like to sponsor things by myself because I'm not a big YouTuber right now. But maybe someday I will be. People will be sending me stuff to review and so on. Now in this video, we are going to be checking out how to be your own boss and talking about the challenges of being your own boss. If you're not yet a member, of this channel make sure you subscribe to it there's a lot of helpful and cool things on this channel that is just for you now before we get started i want to talk about what it's like to work for yourself and quit your job and stop working nine to five and what are the challenges that most people run into including getting started with your own business and why most businesses actually fail the first thing you need to have is the equipment to get started and the job training. So most businesses fail. If you are starting your own business, you have to understand number one thing you need is to have the right equipment for the job or the right training. It's either or or both actually. And when it comes to doing what I'm doing, my own businesses here, I had to invest heavily before I got started huge investment has to be made over here. The following investments I had to do. One, get a camera. Any kind of a video camera that can record me and actually be able to handle very extensive kind of video work. So not just one, might need a backup too. I had this already, so this wasn't a big expense for me. Sometimes I would have to just upgrade one of my cameras, which actually what I had to do for my online classes. The other thing I had to do is to get a brand new laptop. So I went right ahead and I threw a huge amount of cash into the best and the kind of the greatest laptop. And this was in 2015, meaning my laptop right now is like four, maybe even up to five years old. And in terms of Apple, that's obsolete. It's obsolete tech. It actually becomes obsolete tech after a few years. If you're sitting over here and listening to me in a 2009 laptop or something super old, you have to understand those things are super slow. They're not getting the job done. And with the amount of videos that I record and I have to do, I have to have state-of-the-art equipment. This is why most businesses fail which is actually the reason why a lot of people have a trouble of actually getting to the next step. Self-sufficiency, lack of funding, not enough money to get started. Well, I had to actually put down about $4,000 before I got into this business altogether. What kind of things? I had to have a recording software I had to buy. I had to go ahead and purchase a brand new computer, which is state of the art back then so I can do video editing. And then I had to get a tripod, mobile tripod, a microphone to do the voiceovers, and lots of other small expenses, and they all add up all together for around 4,000 bucks, all combined. Now, of course, you could do this super cheap at $1,000. A lot of the equipment now is so much better than it used to. You don't have to spend so much money. You can even record yourself on a smartphone. You no longer even need some of those fancy cameras anymore. But this is not the point. The entire point here is that whatever business you decide to do, there's going to be expenses and you have to be able to go ahead, use those expenses and make sure that it's going to work for you. It's going to make you more money in the long term. Next thing is motivation. This is something I talk to a lot of people and they don't have the motivation to try something new. It's even not even that, that they don't want to get started with something new. It is more like they don't want to even risk something they don't even understand. Don't even want to step outside of their comfort zone. Now, to, to be fair here, a lot of things I don't want to do to step out, out of my comfort zone. But when it comes to, when it comes to making money, I'm all about it. Oh, it's getting hot here. So this is a great hat, by the way, just to let you know. Hoo-hoo. 
it actually does warm you up love the hat so when it comes to making money online this is the big thing you have to understand that you have to be able not only to step outside of your comfort zone you have to be able to do it because the money is there it's going to get paid it's going to pay you you're not doing it as a favor to somebody else and i was talking to a few people that those are people i try to convince them all the time like friends of mine who i told them go ahead try this part time you don't have to do much just create an online class and see what happens a lot of them no i'm not gonna do it and all those excuses why i don't have the time i don't have the money i don't have the, this lots of excuses and one of them was like she was saying i don't want to do it because uh and she really didn't have an excuse like oh i'm not motivated enough this is not something that i'm interested in doing and yet she don't have a job so go figure another person was like telling me this something similar except he's working he used to work three jobs at a time when i first asked him now he's working seven jobs at a time now big difference between back then and right now more competition the biggest difference is he is working twice as much to get the same amount amount of money he was making back then and a lot harder too so he has even less free time that he used to although he still has free time to do some stuff but you don't understand the whole point of residual income people don't get this part what i'm trying to tell you is you can get started making money making residual income totally different than going ahead and making money which is not residual income which is more like you're just sitting there making and getting paid by the hour you're not creating anything for it to be self-sufficient it's more likely you're going ahead punching the clock in and out and once that job is done that's it you're not having any money coming in which is the whole entire point here of you becoming self-sufficient so you don't actually need to like i can go ahead go and sleep and people are still gonna pay me and during the holiday season i do absolutely nothing if i want to and i still get paid big difference between people who are not doing exactly that you, they're just you know working they're still slaving and my whole point is i'm going to be working less and less over time and making more and more money whereas you are going to be working more and more over time and getting less paid because you're working for somebody else and i'm working for myself and i'm actually creating online content so it is self-sufficient and of course going to give me residual income which is the biggest difference between working nine to five and being your own boss and the big thing about motivation is the following well you don't get paid right away yes a lot of those jobs that i actually do don't pay me right away it's commission payment a lot of it is hard work up front lots of reward that is going to give you later on and people don't understand or get this concept well you don't even have to do much eventually but initially you have to take a huge chance and with business this is something that actually a lot of people this is why most businesses fail they don't take a chance they don't want to learn a new skill they don't want to start something new they don't want to figure out something that they never did before in fact for them it's like okay i'm gonna get this job and i'm gonna make money i'm gonna be spending it and of course you get fired the same process all over again vicious cycle continues on and on and on and you're not changing anything because it is the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over and over again expecting the same exact results so the only way for you to change your life is to go ahead and do something different it means that you have to go ahead and change your mind by changing your mind you're changing your life thinking different doing something different gives you different results each and every time therefore this is one of the things that a lot of people don't understand in business taking chances educated risk you're taking a chance to do something because you're an entrepreneur being an entrepreneur is totally different from somebody who is just a person who is working nine to five entrepreneur means you're taking chances you hear somebody gives you an offer you're thinking is that going to make me money is this something worth i put my time into and i gave a lot of people in the past in the future and in the present opportunities to work with me 
And a lot of them actually rejected me. You'll be like surprised. Like, why would somebody reject you? Well, they reject you because they don't understand what I'm offering them. So some of them are like, okay, you partner with me and I'm going to be promoting your class. And of course, you're going to be my partner and we are going to create something together, a product, online product. And we're going to be selling and make a lot of money. The first person who I suggested this to, and I'm going to go back a few years in the past. And what they did, they didn't want to do any of it. Nothing, nothing to do with it. They thought it was a joke. But the more I continued doing this, the more I got better at creating online content, getting better at what I'm doing, producing content, creating content, getting more fans, getting more people who are buying my online classes and so on. So the whole thing about you starting and creating your own business is really all about getting better all the time. And this is the big key here. Now, some people are like starting some business and they quit right away, quit pretty fast. This is actually something that happens to many people. Why do they quit so fast? Well, the reason why you quit so fast is that you never let success hit, hit you. You never let success happen. What you actually are doing is you're pushing away success. How you're pushing away success is very simple. You're pushing it away by never giving it a chance to actually become success. A lot of people start and here, here is the biggest confusion that I encounter with newbies. They always say the same exact thing. And they always do the same exact mistakes as well. What is it? It's kind of simple. Lots of ways for you to make money online. eBay, Etsy, Amazon FBA, YouTube, Skillshare, Udemy. The list goes on. Stock market. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can make money online. Lots of ways. Online arbitrage, viral. There's lots of ways. Really, too, too many ways to make money online. But the question is, Working nine to five, you know, the most you can make working in a regular job, unless you have like PhD, you have a special certification, you're a doctor, you're, you're somebody who has a specific way to make a lot of money, like a professor. Those people, they have ways to make a lot of money. They don't need to do what I'm doing. They can do their own thing. But guess what? They are never going to become the next millionaire. Their jobs, steady salary, a lot of money. That, and I'm not pushing away those jobs. Those are great jobs. But most people are not working in professions. They're working just like nine to five jobs that really don't have much for you to go up in. So most people, the mistake that they're making when they want to do something different and they're thinking about what kind of different things can I, can I do? There's so many different things out there. And they're like, oh, wow, this guy made a lot of money in eBay. So I'm going to be starting that. So here is the mistake, how it actually goes. So eBay is the way for me to go. I'm going to be starting that. Okay. He starts on the online class, starts watching it and uh, watches a bit of it. He's like, start doing it. Like gives it like, like a little bit of effort, not as much as he needs to just a bit, just a bit and getting no results. Okay. So he's like, okay, this class bad. You, you only watch like a total of it, maybe a little bit of it, but it's still bad, you know, bad. So what he does, he buys another class, okay. From some other guru out there who is promising him even more money. And, and, and this is the key here. What they like to do, a lot of people, they, they like to find somebody who's making a lot of money. And they find this guy and they, they don't care about his content. What they care about is that he shows that he has the cash, he has the money. And that's all that it matters. They watch the whole entire class and try the same exact thing. And guess what? Zero performance, not getting what I want. Going to the next dude. Now they're looking for somebody who makes even more money this time and somebody who can sell them a lot more. And you know what? They're not going to buy the 10 buck class. They're going to buy the $1,000 class. They're, in fact, they're going to take a loan just to learn from this dude how I can make this big, big money online which is another mistake here he's doing. He hasn't even mastered the $10 class. He thinking that $1,000 class is going to get him the even better results. And the thing is you watch this stuff. Now you're out of 1000 bucks. You haven't even watched that $1,000 class. Now you have to pay off that loan. So you just got, to, you just dug yourself into a bigger hole here and they're like, okay, you're pushing away. Now he's pushing away eBay. It's like, forget it. 
I made no money here. I'm gonna be moving to the next best thing, which is gonna be Etsy. Look, this guy made a humongous amount of money here. I'm gonna try it out. Tries that stuff out, you know, even watches the whole entire thing. No results, once again. The quick money is not here. And this is the whole exact problem here. Any of those businesses, it takes a few things for you to master, for you to make the big money. And they're very simple, simple concepts. And yet, most people fail. The reason why is the following. One, it takes years to master this stuff. Or it takes a lot of learning from somebody who knows a lot from it and learning everything you can from them and then putting it exactly, putting all this knowledge in, in my head, into yours, pretty much, and putting it and executing it and getting the results. But still, it takes time to build a business. Business doesn't start from scratch. It takes months usually to build a decent business. And with you failing to understand this simple concept, and by jumping from one business to another, Etsy, eBay, Fiverr, anything out there, and you keep on jumping, one, two, three, from one place to another, you're just giving yourself, and you're giving the effort that you need miniature in every single one of those, instead of putting 100% of your effort into one location and figuring out. And the reason why I'm giving you so many different names that you can make money online is not to confuse you. It's more for you to understand. You might not be good at Amazon, but you might be excellent on eBay. It's like playing a sport, playing chess, playing any kind of a sport, hiking, uh, basketball, soccer, some of the sports you're not going to be good at at all. But you have to try to see which one you're good at. And that's the only way you will figure out what is the best sport you're at is by trying it and doing it and getting it done. So this is why most people fail at online business. Lack of motivation, lack of capital, not finding what you're good at, listening to too many gurus. And the last one is you, you are just not motivating yourself. You don't think there is enough reward out there when you're done. You're thinking this is not good. Getting the wrong attitude by getting started with the wrong attitude is the worst thing you can possibly do. You're saying this is not going to work. Just like last time it didn't work. This guy scammed me. I tried his class. I never got anywhere. And here it is. You went in there with the attitude that this class is going to get you nowhere. Or you went in to get and with the attitude that this business is going to get me nowhere either. With that kind of mindset, you might as well stay working 9 to 5 because it, you don't have what it takes. You don't have what it takes to think different, to think out, outside the box and to think positive. This is the key. You've got to think positive. You've got to believe in yourself that you can do it. This is even more important than the skills that you're going to actually learn over time. Knowing that you can do it is more important than anything else out there. Everything else, later on, you can get. Not enough money, you can take out loans. If you don't have the skills, you can learn them. If you don't have the right master, you can find him. But if you don't have the right attitude, nothing can change that. If you're coming in, playing a game of basketball with a winning team, with even the best team, and you tell everybody, we are going to lose this game. You are going to lose. If you come in there totally psyched, thinking we are going to own the court, we are going to win. We are not going to get out of here until we are going to win. Even if your team is pretty sucky, who knows, you might be able to pull it off. Because attitude is almost the entire battle. And to win the battle, you got to be the best. And more about being the best is the best version of you is what you need thank you for watching this and hopefully you learned something new and if you did hit the subscribe button right below and of course smash the thumbs up button on the top too thank you and see you in the next video